In this video, I will be describing point mutations in DNA sequence after going through transcription and translation. A purine is adenine and guanine, and a pyrimidine is a cytosine and a thymine, or a uracil if in mRNA. A transition mutation is when nuclides change from a pyrimidine to a pyrimidine or a purine to a pyrimine. A transversion mutation is when nucleotides change from a pyrimidine to a purine or a purine to a pyrimidine. We are given a protein that is four amino acids long and is formed from the DNA sequence shown by in vivo. First, we need to determine the template strand and the coding strand. To do this, we flip the bottom strand to read five prime to three prime. Now we look for the start codon. Both strands have the start codon ATG, but turned into AUG after transcription. To determine the coding strand, we must find which strand has a stop codon four codons down from the start codon. We can see that this is the bottom strand because UAA is a stop codon four codons down from the AUG start codon. The top strand does not have a stop codon four codons down, so we know the bottom strand is the coding strand and the top strand is the DNA. Shown below are the four amino acids that the mRNA codes for using the chart. Finally, we are ready to describe our point mutations. Point mutations are mutations only affecting one or a few nucleotides in a gene sequence. First, we have a silent mutation. A silent mutation is when a nucleotide changes and the amino acid still remains the same. Here, the G in AAG is mutated to an A, but the AAA still codes for LYS amino acid, just like the coding strand. This is a transition mutation since the base is changing from a G to an A. Next mutation is a nonsense mutation. A nonsense mutation is when the mutation causes the amino acid to code for a stop codon. So here the AAG codes for the LYS amino acid, but when mutated to UAG, it codes for a stop codon. This is a transversion mutation because the base is changing from A to a U. Next is a missense mutation. This is when the base codes for a different amino acid. Here we have AGC coding for amino acid SER, and when the mutation occurs to AGA, the amino acid is now ARG. This is transversion because C is changed to A. Finally, read-through mutation is when a stop codon is changed to a codon that codes for a different amino acid. This results in a longer, non-functional protein. Here the stop codon UAA is mutated to UAU and the amino acid is TYR instead of stop. The mRNA will keep being translated until there is another stop codon. This is a transversion mutation because the A was mutated to a T and then mRNA transcribed the T to a U. These are my references.